Hello everyone, and welcome to another Lightorama tutorial. In this video, we'll talk about how to use a Lightorama singing face standalone sequence with your own custom sequence, or a Lightorama you can modify sequence for a traditional layout. These sequences are not usable with the basic level Lightorama ready to go sequences in the traditional layout. RGB plus sequences already have effects for these same singing faces, so you do not need to purchase a singing face standalone sequence if you already own the RGB plus version of the sequence. To start, make sure that the sequence you plan to transfer the Lightorama singing face standalone sequence effects into is open in your sequencer. We'll use a custom sequence in preview as an example in this tutorial in case you've already transferred a Lightorama sequence to your own layout. Make sure that you are using the same audio file as the one used in the Lightorama Singing Face standalone sequence, or else the process in this tutorial will not work. After following the directions for installing a Singing Face standalone sequence, it will appear in your Lightorama Sequences folder with the prefix SFSA. Open the sequence in Lightorama S5 or S6 by double-clicking on the file name. These sequences are not usable in S4 or below. If you already have singing faces in your preview, you can skip the first half of this video. If this is your first Lightorama singing face sequence, the first step is to add the singing face props to your personal preview or the Lightorama traditional layout preview if you just plan to use the default. This step will only need to be done once per preview. Generally, you'll only have one preview per holiday for your home. You can find a list of all your previews in the right-hand menu of the sequencer or you can edit the specific preview attached to a sequence by clicking here. In your preview, navigate to the Add menu, then to Lightorama Props Online, which you must be connected to the internet to see. The version 1 singing faces have four mouth movements, and the version 2 singing faces, which were released in October of 2022, have 10. Select the faces you purchased one at a time and add them to your preview. The faces will all be preset with the unit IDs and channels that match the Lightorama Singing Face standalone sequences. Once you have all of the faces you're going to use imported, select the blue groups from the preview list and move them to where you plan to put them in your own layout, then save your preview. The easiest way to copy the Singing Face sequencing is to create a new grid view with just the Singing Face props. Click this icon next to the grid view labeled Show All Items, then choose Add New View and label it Singing Faces. This window allows you to select which props you want to see in your grid view. Use the filter box to search for your singing faces, then add the groups, not the individual face sections, to the view. Your new view will be created with just the singing faces, but you can return to Show All Items or other grid views at any time through this drop down menu. Grid views are a great way to focus on sequencing one group of elements at a time. You can create multiple grid views per sequence. If you already had singing faces in your preview and a grid view built from previous years and skipped ahead to this point, make sure to check that your own singing face rows are in the same order as the ones in the Lightorama sequences, or else you won't be able to take the final step. If you click and hold down a sequence tab, you can drag it to a different section of your sequencer, making it easier to compare two files. You can rearrange your singing face rows by holding down your mouse and dragging the row to a different order. Once you've confirmed your rows are in the same order, return to the Lightorama singing face sequence and select the columns of the faces you have in your own preview. You can then select the entire row or rows by pressing the letter R on your keyboard. Copy the effects by pressing Ctrl C. Back in your own sequence, change the paste mode to paste by time. This step is very important. Without making this change, the sequence will not transfer correctly. Once the paste mode has been changed, click the row of your first face, press R on your keyboard to select the entire row, then press Ctrl V on your keyboard to paste the effects. And that's it! The sequencing effects have now been transferred into your personal display. If you do not own the full quartet, you may want to paste the effects of one face into another depending on who's singing. For example, in this sequence, the Zuzu tree sings because there's a female singer in the sequence. But if you only have one of the other male trees, you just need to copy the Zuzu tree's effect to your singer, such as the group for Elden. You can see where effects are in the Lightorama sequence by clicking on the plus sign of the singing face group to expand it so you can see all of the face's effects. 
Don't forget to export your grid view so that you can use it in other sequences and to set your paste mode back to the option you typically use. And that's all for this tutorial. Visit the Lightarama website to shop for sequences now.